Where does the time go? Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubifar. On the 16th of June, 2022, CIG released Inside Star Citizen, Inside the BMM. Here's what you need to know. Star Citizen Royalty spoke for a minute about which ship and which race are their favorite. Jared introduced Alien Week. Activities all week, but the BMM was going to be spoiled, and Jared reminded us that it's still in gray box and not final. The original art wasn't going to cut it, so they decided to approach the concept with more care and consideration. Mark and Ben from the vehicle team, Jared asked what the start state was for the overview. The exterior is at the gray box state and there is a pair of artists working on the ship. They are ensuring that the interior metrics will be honed throughout the process. Massive hidden cannons, beautiful and ornate detail on the wings, and they're reworking the Defender style guide to upscale for this size. Jared noted that this is a milestone ship as it included shops and other features that have never been put into engine. The animations were updated and they demonstrated how the wings transitioned from stubby to something less stubby, something that might actually function in atmosphere, but they didn't specify that that was the point of the update. The bridge is roughed out and wide open. Such a large ship was referred to as massive and open throughout the entire overview. Most cruise stations here start in the bridge and then extend upward to provide the required view. This is common throughout and they highlighted a robust crew evacuation system. The main turret room was huge and ornate with a walkway. You sit in a seat and you're projected again into an elevated place. Being religious, there are specialized sanctuary spaces for worship. There are two types of medical beds, which mirrors how the system on the Carrick works. You can receive care in a bed, and then you can be moved into a liquid recovery pool. They looked at the lounge, social spaces, basic dining services, and a beautiful place to be. They toured the crew area, which had a bespoke lift. The louvered doors should make it past concept. There was a negotiation room with a set of vast VIP rooms. I noticed hardly any square edges. The negotiation table had only one head and two equal sides, which is perfect for negotiation. The cargo holds looked like some kind of amphitheater with cathedral ceilings. The market space is multi-story with flowing staircases. They confirmed that the ship would be five or six decks in total. Traders will have a specialized place to display larger items in a central space. They ended the walkthrough with a room that was better to show off the aesthetics. The social pit and common quarters are in keeping with the way that the Banu share their space. And that's it. Thanks very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.